Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I have a chance to try a weird looking sewing machine called Juki MS-1190. It's a, a lapsing machine or a lot of people call it a feed of, feed of the arm. And it's a very, very useful machine when you're making uh, denim jeans, pants and shirt, especially if you're making like a uh, dress up shirt like this what I have. So um, I'm just gonna show you what this machine does and I'm gonna show you about uh, different uh, features that you could use this machine. First of all, this machine is a double needle chain stitch machine. As you see, there is four thread. Whenever we say chain stitch, meaning there's continuous running thread. You don't need to, there is no bobbin. Uh, there is loopers in the bottom and the continuously uh, sewing for change. Two needles, uh, it's a quarter inch gauge, that's the most common size. This is the top, and I'm gonna show you the top, and this is the bottom. So this is the top and this is the bottom. See how beautiful it is, the chain stitch. And again, top and bottom, quarter inch. And if you see the way it looks, the machine, you say, why is it made like this? And I'm gonna show you why and what are different use for this. So the machine comes on this, we call space saver so a table, very special table, uh, a special leg. The machine is, the, what we have here right now is a uh, brushless servo motor uh, with LED lamp. Uh, the whole entire uh, sewing machine is different than any other sewing machine. So I'm gonna uh, 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 give you some of the uh, sizes and then we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna tell you why the machine looking like this because you don't buy this machine and a pretty expensive machine to do only a double needle chain stitch machine. You could do it with any type of machine. So what locks in is, it's this pretty much. You could see it on my shirt, the rest of shirt, see? You see this is two double chain stitch is when you bring two pieces of fabric and put them together and lap seam or feed off the arm and then you stitch it. And this is weird looking and I tell you why. So um, I brought two things. Number one is another shirt because I thought I was, I, I couldn't take my shirt off what I'm filming here. So <laughs> it's, this is the back of the shirt chain, and this is the front of the shirt. So I show you why this is looking like this. Well, now I can't even find it. Uh, here you go. This is the front, right? So it does change it for this. Now, and I have another ladies t-shirt and also in men, men's shirt. You see this tape in the back that you always wonder, how do they put it on? Because this tape goes on when the t-shirt is done. So by the way, this is one of these nice gold star tool t-shirt. If you ever need one, call me and I throw it in your order. I read my name in it. Um, so, this is the tape that goes from one side and comes out from the other side, you see? And I'm gonna show you, this is that way this machine is made. Okay, uh, let me get my tape measure right here. The entire, the way we set it up, and this is the most common setup, is 41 inch, if you need a room, 41 inch. And then the width is 20 inch. The height adjustable, we have it at 30 inch. Again, this is not a normal type of sewing machine setup, okay? You see the whole entire thing is different. Um, and we are going to show you what the machine comes with. The machine, if you could look here, it said the needle is B64 in Schmidt or Organ TVX64. Um, you get a couple of, two, one trigger, a couple of um, a screwdriver, some extra needles, uh, a bottle of oil, 
Uh, these are for the motor. A, you get the dust, pack, dust cover, extra large screwdriver, and here what do we have? An oil and an oil. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back here. Everything's gonna go back here, and we're gonna work on the sewing machine now. So this is what it came with the machine. When factory set it up, this came in. You pretty much get the uh, idea. Back, front, this was the four piece. That not one piece. One piece, two piece, three piece, four piece. So they did these two together and they did this one. Or this long one, long one, or this one, that doesn't matter. So you could see now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make one again. Uh, it's working, yeah. Okay, so the way the thread is done, it's pre-threaded when you receive it, but very easy, you get the booklet that shows you how it's done. Everything here, the thread, the two from the top, come down here, from here inside, from here and then, goes through here, this hole, and goes inside, and it goes from this side back here. Right there, and right there. You see, this is inside, pretty much. These are the way, and so I'm gonna use this for sewing regular right now for you guys to see. There's a foot lifter right here. Okay, I'm gonna show for you to see. I'm gonna show this door, so it won't. Okay, so this is it. Now, when I'm gonna be done, you could use them again. When you want to do a um, feed off the arm, by the way, this machine, we have one called 3850. It's the same thing heavy duty for denim jeans, for the size of your jeans, it's more heavy duty. So this is made mostly for the light material. And the way it works, the machine is already come with the a lap seam or feed of the arm installed folder. Very, I'm gonna close this too. One goes from, and I'm not a professional again, I'm gonna go over this again and again and again. I'm a, you see, one goes in here, and I'm gonna to try to do this with you guys. Learn together. Uh, you see, goes and it turns. Push it through. Let me do the other one first. Let me do this heavy one first because the heavy one is going in. See when it's, see, like this. I'm gonna, just to show you guys. Okay, this is one part and I'm gonna get the other part, goes from the top. And keep this here, okay? The other part goes inside. And thank you for being patient with me. Obviously, you see that you gotta be patient when you wanna do some of this, you can be. And I'm gonna just push it this, push this in, push it forward, and I'm gonna show, and I'm gonna hope for the rest that it's gonna Push it through. Did I catch? No. No. Oh, 
call this, put this through, and I don't like to, now this is pretty heavy fabric I'm using, I got to do light one maybe, but, see the way you hold it like this and, the thread came out yes definitely so good one of the thread came out and when the thread came out what do you do you put it back in this is where is the other one the other one is here okay very good all right so here while we are at it it's good that this thing happens again over and over i said all the time that we know that the first time things should not happen all of a sudden i mean things break up and you just put it back together um, so I'm gonna go ahead again there are a bunch of paperwork here that show you how it's done the threading but I'm gonna go for it I mean we did this once I and I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it so I come down And see, that is the other way. This goes through here. And that one goes through here, you see? Goes down, goes here. See, if you could close up, it said all L, R, and there is, there is uh, on this one, it said L and R. So as you're going down through the thread trail, uh, it's marked all over which one the R goes and which one the L goes. So getting there. Why is that doing it? So one of the reasons that this thing broke is whenever things break, you gotta see uh, you gotta see why the thread broke. Okay. So one of the things that happened here could be that the tension is too hard, too tight, or the fabric. See the fabric that I'm using really is not the fabric for this machine. Although it's gonna do it, I want to do it with the more light uh, material. Uh, but I just wanted to do this one, I'm gonna do the other one too. So, no, this one goes through, we get back up, go through the, you guys are right, you're sitting home and saying they make it really hard to thread, but if you don't do, go through these steps, um, then the machine is not gonna work. And the good thing is that you do it once and the rest, hopefully the thread is not gonna break and anytime you just wanna change the thread, uh, you just tie the thread back there and you get it going. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one more time. Slowly. Okay. So this is the idea. Here you go. You see? You bring two feet off the arm and look at the back, beautiful. Back, front. Now, um, it's gonna be a long video, but I really wanna do uh, on the light material too, for you guys to see. So see how it's done. On the light material, 
if David could find a light material here, so, all right. So, I made this, I cut this tape for something else, but I'm gonna use this for now for this, for you to see, this is a lighter material. I think it's easier for you to see how it's done. It's gonna go here. You see, I do one here, right? The easiest way is to hold it is to put this and put it down so it won't move, right? And this one, you put it here and you push it down, right? And you pull it up and put the, so it won't move. Are we good? I think we're good. And so people that are doing like 50 t-shirts at the same time, honestly, they are artists. See? Praise the Lord. Here you go. Now, you see we have one of these tension thingy problem here. It's all this. You play with it and you go on. But this is the idea. One from left, one from right, and you're good to go. Uh, now, I'm gonna cut this because I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna sew this off, and the machine doesn't have a lot uh, oil. Uh, talking about the oil. Where does the oil go? Hmm, it's a good idea. Here, it tells you exactly where the oil goes. This one you open up and you oil. Um, it tells you the places that oil goes and oil doesn't go. Meaning that you don't, allow, you know, you gotta put oil here, put oil there, the oil comes with it, we're all good. Now, one other thing that I want to talk to you about is using a tape. Uh, fold. What is this? This is the tape folder, okay? And the tape folder is to do what we're doing here. And this is the main activity of this machine, is to put the t-shirt in here and then sew it off and take it out that way. All right? So again, people at home never done this. And well, when you want to do this, you have to take this out, right? Take this out. And this is a quarter inch folder. Uh, this is quarter inch. Uh, you see, but the cut is one inch and finishes three eight. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right. Um, so I'm going to take this, put it here for now. I want to make sure that I don't do none of these things. And then what you do is you take I mean, open it up, raise the foot, and this will come out. And take this out. I'm gonna cut this. Don't, don't you ever pull any fabric or any thread out, because then you're gonna cutting and you don't know where this coming from. Easily take everything out. Um, I'm gonna cut this, cut this, cut. Take this out, this is the regular foot. Now, your next question would be if there are different gates for this. Yes, there is. Very expensive though. But there is a different gate. This is quarter inch, you get different gate for the machine. Um, let me get rid of all this stuff that is here. Okay, see, 
Whenever you want to release, just put your foot on the holder and get released. There you go. I'm going to get some of this out. Uh, I'm going to get this one out too. It's very nice. So, I'm going to take this. And again, I've never done this. That is first time for everything. Um, take the food out, put this one here. And this one would come down, right? It stays in place. You tie this. Oh, this one. Uh, could this one be... I want this to be... Okay, I want it to be here. Right, makes sense. Everybody at home, you have any question, raise your hand. And again, if you're in downtown LA, if you're nearby, we have tons of machines set up here. You could come try them, um, use them, if you like them, and buy them, and you take them home. I mean, pay for them. So this is the way this thing works. Okay, I'm gonna put this here, out. I always like to cut an angle, right? So you could just put it through. Like this. And then from here you have room to move it. Pull your foot out, push it down, grab it from underneath, and you see, take it out. Now, if you see it's coming so hard, you could always get it out one of these, like take it out one of, one of them, because this is for, to make it easier. Now, so far so good. Very nice. I'm gonna try this, and then we're gonna try it the other way. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna push this up, put it underneath, and I'm gonna sew. Easy now. These are the upper thread, not a big deal. Okay. These are all upper threads, you're gonna get rid of it, no problem. And you see, if there is a chain here, I mean, there is a, what do you call it? There is a um, shearing here. It's because this is going slower. So you could always take one out or you know, more out and put it up here. So, and here you go. This is, whoa, I had to open it, close them, because it got worse, you see? It was better, got worse, so I just tired more. You wanna make sure when you do your bias, you do it exactly at one inch. One inch goes in, and if it's, if it's a homemade, you just made this. If it's one inch, it's a little bit uh, over, obviously, you see, you have this. So we just made this at here. We just cut this here. But the idea, you get the idea, that's what it does. 
Now, we're gonna ask, where are you gonna use this? Also, on the bottom of the, um, bottom of the, uh, you know, sport pants, like, uh, like Adidas or Nike on the side, they have this. Now, this is gonna be the tape. I'm gonna work on the adjustment of the chain stitch in the back. Now, the machine is not even oiled. I could use some spray, some silicone spray, and make sure everything is okay. I'm gonna go over this, but this is not the idea to, uh, I, I have to show you how this thing works. Now, for this one, the way it works for the t-shirt companies, I'm gonna cut this. What they do is they take this, they bring this up, they, oh, by the way, there is a cutter here. And the noise is from here, so they take this out. I'm gonna bring down the, see? Let me get it out this. You have to cut that, I didn't cut it, okay. They bring this. You see? From here and from here. They put the fabric in there, right? They put the tape when the tape is not there. And then they start sewing, sewing, and they take it out the other way, if you know what I mean, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is to show you guys, I'm gonna just, just to show you, I'm gonna do it from here to cover this stitching because this stitching bother people. I have another piece. I think these are not really one inch, but we did be short. If, hey, people that put my video on YouTube, Insta, uh, what is the other one, TikTok, or social media, if you think this is too uh, long and people are bored, uh, you could put them in, you know. Part one and part two, Rambo. If you remember Rambo, then you know that I'm too old. I mean, not you guys, me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this through, all right? And just to show you, I'm gonna lift this again. I'm gonna take this, put it through, right? Put this here, from this here. Again, these people that honestly, the operators that work on these things, Oh my God, do they know? The way they do this, it's unbelievable. I just wanna cover, it doesn't matter where. I'm gonna do one round, I'm not gonna really do it. So they hold this and they go ahead and, is it going? Come on, David. I'm gonna go from here, no problem. They know exactly how to do it, where to go. And I do it slowly for you to see. Oh, my mom should be so proud of me. It's not even funny. All right. You know what I, you know, you get it, right? You guys at home. Perfect mundo. So if you want, like you go around here, let's say you just continue.
okay? You want to continue, continue, do whatever you want. But... This is the way it is, all right? So, this is gonna be the bike, like here, like this is the original factory. And now people are gonna complain, why did you ruin the T-shirt? So this is the bike, that's the original one. This is the one that, see this is rib. They all have to match, this is a rib, and this is rib, so. So we did this one, I did this one, on the other end, and this is gonna be inside, and this is gonna be outside. It's gonna be like, whatever. So this is the way they do it, the tape, the tape for the t-shirt, and the other way that I did it is the, one, the way they do it for laps and feet of the arm. This machine 1190 is for t-shirt, light material. The other machine, 38, I, I made a video for the other one, is for more heavy duty stuff. Again, a great machine, MS-1190, made in Japan. We made it for one of our very good customers. This one is the setup. This is the setup. Uh, this is the setup. 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 This is Sorry, it took you a, a long time. It took me a long time to make this video, but you could show the back, if you could show the back. This is the back of the machine, the chain, the whole nine yard, and this is me, David from goldstartool.com, and uh, I'm happy that I was able to do the, uh, the setup, by the way, if you guys wanna do the setup at home, it's not a big deal. You know, really, really, it's not a big deal. And I'll try to have uh, our uh, person here, my assistant, make a couple of video, uh, uh, pictures and we put it on our website too. Thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. Again, have a wonderful and golden day.